Hello and a warm welcome back to the channel. And in the background, the very long freight train from last week's running session is still running on the upward main line. I've had loads of fun running these two long trains um, and I want to keep them on the layout. So I've put the fuel train that was pulled last week by the Kobo. That's in the outer double track loop, so that's quite good. I've got a pair of modern engine sheds joined together now. R146, we'll take a quick look at those in a minute, but right now I want to get this into the other double track loop, so quickly I need to open points A, just in time. And I'm going to try now to get this into the inner loop. So I've first of all got to drive it quite steady with all these wagons on. You might see just in front of me there's a couple of isolators there. There we go. So we've hit those. Now normally most trains will fit and I can shut points A but as you look we still got loads of it on the main line. Now to get this moving a bit further the way I've wired it I need to open points D and then coming back to my switches I just need to throw both of these and I should now be able to drive this forward using the downline controller so let's just see how we go yeah that's good now I want to bring this round the inner double track loop and I want to park it so the locos are just emerging from behind those two new engine sheds. So I'm just going to yep, turn that down there. So that's worked really well. So let's set the layout up for mainline operation. So just have a quick look at these points. That's points D, points A, and then I need to just put that isolator and that one over like that. And we should be set for mainline operation. So I've got both of these long freight trains nicely parked in the double track loops because I want to be running them again. So let's take a look at this modern engine shed times two. Got the city of Glasgow in there which has been recommissioned which we're going to be using on the downward line today. And then we've got the little southern L1. So I think without pausing the camera, if I can, I'd like to get the really nice blue City of Glasgow Wren W2229 out onto the branch line. So I need to just check all my switches again and I think everything is set up. I've got my trusty H&M handheld here, which hopefully will mean I can get some better views of this loco as I try and drive it out of the engine shed. So I'm going to put some power on now and try and drive this around the up and over branch line and then we'll cross it over onto the downward line. So coming out quite successfully from the engine shed, I'll just pause there. It's a great shed this if you join two together, just the right length for these Pacific locos. I've got the Hornby Duchess of Sutherland in there alongside. Right, let's carry on. So a bit more power. Oops, running away with me there. Right, let's get over the raised section. Bit of vigour there, just backing up the incline. Tender first. Round the back. Just come down nicely, back off the power a little bit. Not quite to a standstill. And then I'll pause by points G. So there we are. Okay, so if I now set points G to curved, I should be able to bring this out on to the upward main line but obviously facing the wrong way. So I'm just going to reverse this out now. Oh, wrong way on the controller. 
Here we go. Right, this pass points G. So I'm going to set points G to straight, and then the crossover H, I want to get this onto the downward line. So let's now drive this City of Glasgow onto the downward main line. Now I need to get used to these directions. I know I say it every week. A bit more practice required. So over the crossover, come to a little halt. So I'm going to set the crossover H now for normal running. And I should be able to drive this. And now it's on the downward line. I think I'll get my forward and reverse right. Let's just get this move down towards the outer double track loop. Well, I've got some Pullman coaches. We're going to run a Glasgow Pullman service with the city of Glasgow. Right. You can see a fly on the layout there. Look at that. Let's get that out of the way. Must be warming up. OK, so I need to open points E. No, I don't. Points B. There. And then we're going to reverse this in and get those Pullman coaches. So far, so good. Right, now that's cut out, so I need to just operate my isolator for this downward loop. Try again. There. Let's see if I can make my way out onto the downward main line. Right, well let's just let it run at that nice speed while I put points B back to curved. And we'll watch this city of Glasgow go round a couple of laps. Battering over the Super 4 points. Going at quite a nice express speed today. Lovely looking loco. Nice and quiet, pulling those Triang coaches. I think I'm going to reduce the speed slightly now. Now before we get the L1 out, I think I'll try and get some nice shots of this from different angles. Well, that really is running quite nicely now. And it is warming up slightly, so I'm just going to see if I can just reduce the throttle of fraction. And while 
that makes its way around and I'm just reaching now to the little handheld controller I want to get this L1 around the up and over branch line too so I'm just going to apply a little bit of power bring it over the turntable and then I'm going to have to pause to allow the City of Glasgow service passed that's safe now so away we go over the two diamonds Triang motor is a little bit more responsive than the Ren one, so a little bit speedier around. And then just come around nicely towards points G and come to a, a stop there. Okay. Right, so I'm going to set points G to curve. There we go. And try and drive this now out onto the upward main line. And then just into the station to a halt. Right, well, let's set points G now for main line running. And then I need points F, which are hidden in the station. So I can reverse now and get those little suburban coaches. So let's try and reverse this L1 into that siding. So I'm a bit hidden by the station there, but yeah, definitely made contact there. So I'm going to get this now onto the main line. very smooth so points F set for mainline operation got a little bit of trouble with the old triang point switch there I think contact cleaner required we'll soon see if it's switched we might have a derailment here no nope, that's fine well I'll set this now with some nice scale running and we'll get a closer look at it moving around the main line. So let's just look at these lovely Hornby 00 coaches. The tin roofs, tin sides look good behind this L1 and I think I mentioned in a previous video that it's got very similar paint scheme to the Sedina Dan. So it's got white lining, a sort of shiny, a shiny finish to it, and that lovely southern and the running number in yellow on the tender. Let's get a look at that. Right, well I'll try and get some nice views of this going around the layout. It's a quiet runner. It's amazing how some of these Triang XO3, XO4 powered locos vary. My other L ones are much noisier, but this one just runs like a... Oh, it's just so quiet. Listen to that.
Well, I've really enjoyed getting some passenger services on the layout again this week. I'll just switch over to the city of Glasgow, which has been behaving itself very nicely. And I think hopefully next time the city of Birmingham will be on the rails as well. So if I get spare time to myself to have a bit of railway running, I think I should probably get my goods trains out again. I'm enjoying the passenger services, but those super long goods trains are really good fun to drive. But I think we're about at the end of our little running session. So while these two excellent locos make their way around the main lines, I'll leave you to watch them for a little while longer and until the next video I'll say goodbye.